Hey there, fellows. Okay, you remember this wonderful piece of sporting equipment right here? The car that required us pedaling to get it moving. So we converted a car into an exercise bike and had quite a bit of fun riding around in it. But then an exercise bike isn't the only thing you'll find in a gym, right? There are plenty of other exercise machines in there. And so in this episode we've decided to try a different kind. What exactly? Well... You'll find that out in due time, but for now I suggest we get to building it. We'll be figuring stuff out along the way, having a laugh in the process. Once we're done we'll try it out and see if the machine works like it should. And hopefully it's gonna be a fun thing to operate. Alright, let's do this. Wait, have you seen our new Freddy-style t-shirt? If not, hit the link in the description. If you're still here, you should know that aside from a new t-shirt, we offer a lot of other different merch, bearing the Garage 54 logo. Past payment issues have been solved, and now you can send payment for your order even via PayPal. So if you'd like to treat yourself, a friend or a relative to some awesome Garage 54 merch, hit the link in the description to head on over to our shop. And don't forget to use the promo code for a solid discount. Now back to the video. Using a hamster wheel as a motor, run to drive. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, here's what we're looking at. This is quite a lovely treadmill we got here. Now I'm sure you've all seen, I don't know, like squirrels running inside a wheel? Which is always a fun thing to watch, well... What we've made here is a hamster wheel propelled car. We do call it a squirrel wheel in Russia though. Anyway, we've set this up, it's all good. We're running overdrive gearing. I mean, with how enormous the wheel is, it should be easy enough to rotate and get the car to move. So yeah, we've made this in overdrive for a slight increase. By slight, I mean noticeable increase in speed. Anyway, this is a pretty big wheel. With a rather large circumference, like... something close to 10 meters, I think it is. Meaning that one revolution is equivalent to running 10 meters, which is quite a lot. Curious how much it'll take to drive 100 meters. We'll work that out later. I mean how far you'd have to run for that. Now of course we bought some mesh, since we obviously don't want to be hopping from bar to bar. We don't want anybody to fall through and get hurt, so of course we're going to be covering all of this. Okay, let's finish this off and go try it out, shall we?
All right, the car is ready, though our hamster seems to be napping. You found yourself a hammock? Now, I don't know who to... I mean, nobody's been misbehaving. Come on, let's go. You're gonna have to wait to be fed. You know you shouldn't eat before exercising, right? You can go have lunch after we ride around. But for now, you're gonna have to make do hungry. No nuts for you. Let's go. I'm gonna enjoy this. Unlike the pedal car. There we go. You see that? Look at him go. Wow, this is alright. We're picking up speed. Turning one way. And now that way to avoid the puddle. We're doing okay so far. What's important is that... He's burning calories back there. Inside that wheel. I mean, so am I steering and laughing. Even if it is way less. No use taking this into the shop yet. We're doing quite well. Great. How are you doing back there? Well, I can slow down if you want. No worries. Is that right? Awesome. But don't get too comfortable. I mean, don't get too carried away because we still have to get back, you know. Just keep it like that. Nice. That's how we punish bad behavior. <laughs> now, I was joking about bad behavior, but then again, why not? It's not the worst method. What's that all about? Can we back up? <laughs> yeah, voice control. Now let's try going forward. We'll turn around eventually. It's not moving. Wait, what do you mean? It's picking me up? I see. I guess we need to roll into it. Nice. Back up. Though I'm not against it going forward. All right, now we go forward. <laughs> we good. Back up. This ain't bad, even if it is a tad slow. He seems to be having trouble following commands back there. Forward. Give me drive, come on. Not so fast, man. Too many people giving you advice? What? Why aren't we moving? How are we not moving? Accelerate, make the car move. It drives well and it's nice and quiet. You can barely even hear it. Are you tired yet? You good for now? Glad to hear it. Just don't slow down. This is a bumpy section. It might get a bit unpleasant driving over it. Pops and bangs coming somewhere from behind? Have you developed a misfire? Well, let's get someone to replace you then. No, you can handle it? Okay, suit yourself. Now we're barely moving. Eh, what matters is we are, uh, not anymore. And there we go again. You've got some help? That's always a good thing. This is actually really neat. When you're the one steering, it's always fun. Yo, dude. Get the hell out of here. Okay, let's roll. Yeah, I could really use a set of pedals. For some extra boost. Oh, we've got a turbo racer back there. Even a couple. We're gonna try to avoid driving over the bumps. Tremendous. Excellent. We're down to the final seven meters. Obviously, this will be less exhausting than a pedal car. 
I overcooked that. All right, we have arrived. <laughs> Mommy dearest, you need to be constantly walking. This is very sketchy. You scared? We're heading straight for a wall. This is nice, I won't have to pay to go to a gym. I'm afraid we'll hit that infinity. We're like 20 meters away from it. The infinity? Don't think you have to be a man to do this. A girl can do it too. And lose five kilos in the process. Like a mouse in a cage. Oh yeah, right. And there you go, guys. This was interesting. This whole hamster wheel experience. It works and quite well at that. The car drives. Even if you're walking at a rather leisurely pace inside there, you don't need to exert that much effort. Because the wheel is huge, there's plenty of leverage. And so here you are. Not right in the middle, but taking a slight ascent. And the whole thing is happily rolling. You can bring the speed up if you want. As for when you have two people inside the wheel, yeah, let's just say that's an interesting experience. I mean, I'm sure that with enough practice you would be able to synchronize your movements, but when you jump right into it, it's all kind of a mess. You just don't get stable movement. But when there's just one person inside the wheel, it is a whole lot smoother. As for what you can use this sort of contraption for, I can see this being pretty useful if you've got a lady over. It's something to keep her occupied. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What, are you often paid visit? <laughs> anyway, so that's one option, and the other one would be... using it for... punishment. If somebody is misbehaving, you put him in here, get behind the wheel, and off we go. So there we are, overall this was a lot of fun. You should try it. Perhaps make the wheel a bit smaller, or bigger depending on how tall your gate is. Ours is too low, which means dismantling the whole thing to get it in and out. Hey, it was a lot of fun regardless. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. What else can we do with it? Anyway, catch you guys later.